You served your country uh, as a captain in the U.S. Army. A big point of conversation today has been the news that the guy who apparently put the bullets in the head of Osama bin Laden is revealing himself to the public. There's going to be a two-part special on Fox News next week. Uh, he's been identified as Robert O'Neill. His father is quoted as saying, hey, you know, he, he wants to make a living. Why should he? What's he supposed to do? Go work as a greeter at Walmart after performing such service? The military's upset about it. I think there are me- other members of the Navy SEAL Team 6 team that are not real happy about what he's doing. you have any thoughts on, on this guy's decision to reveal himself to the public? Well, yeah. F- first of all, I think that since uh, the Obama administration really outed, outed SEAL Team 6 and got many of their members killed, uh, why not help some of them that are still alive live? I mean, Mike, it, 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 go back. It was Joe Biden who committed what should have been the unpardonable sin of outing that it was a SEAL team right. uh, that, that that killed Osama bin In the bin first Biden. place. They yeah. were never supposed to have that. I, one of SEAL Team 6 members' parents said they got a call from their son right after it happened, right after Joe Biden said, how about that SEAL team taking out Osama? Uh, they got a call from their son saying, hey, take me off anything uh social media we've been outed by the administration and and now there's chatter about coming after us so uh, don't don't have any ties to me and then it was panetta that called in the movie uh the team that was going to do zero dark 30 and he outed seal team six I mean, he provided them classified information that they had no business getting and put more of them in danger. And because SEAL Team 6 got outed by this administration illegally, it put them at risk. And many would contend, and I think accurately, that that's what got so many of SEAL Team 6 killed on the Chinook that they should never have been on, should never have been allowed to go in Afghanistan. And so, you know, hey... This administration got a bunch of them killed by leaking classified information to try to help the administration get re-election. So why not allow some of them to to be helped to live by what by what they've done? I mean, I can't believe the hypocrisy yeah. by this administration outing classified information to get them killed and then coming down on them when they they try to live based on what they did. 